So guys, I did um, a, a little sampler video uh, about this song, and um, I'm going to go ahead and do the whole thing on the whole song. I'm not going to comment in the beginning too much because I already did uh, an eight-minute video uh, describing what I'm going to be doing. But basically, uh, this is me listening to music that mm -hmm. I've done years mm -hmm. ago. Much of it I haven't heard in a long, long time. And uh, kind of sharing about uh, maybe what was going on in my life at that time, uh, at the very least, uh, what was happening, what inspired me to write that song. And then I'm going to reflect of what I think about it today. You know, as you know, or maybe don't know, I pastor a church now, I'm 51 years old, um, pastor House of Rest out in Modesto, California, been serving God for the last 19 years, gave my life to the Lord in federal prison. And, uh, but it's interesting uh, to uh, be able to listen to my mindset back then. So if you want to know a little deeper into um, the beginning of this song and actually um, this album, I described the whole, why I chose this album cover, what this represented, uh, but I already talked about that. I don't want to talk about it again. Uh, but what I am going to do is uh, share with you guys um, kind of my, my mindset uh, into this song. So, um, let's see. I want to make sure everything's right here. Correct. That way, uh, I can play this and it's at a good, decent volume for you guys. All right. Here it is. Mija. What? Come here. Okay. Let me talk to you. You know, you know what your dad does for a living. A lot of things with me, right? Yes. Well, just want you to know something never happens to me. I'll never forget all the things we did. Okay, Dad. You know, you gotta be strong. You gotta grow to be a strong Chicana, okay? Okay. I just want you to know that I love you, your brother and your sister and our family very much. Don't ever leave me, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. No matter what I try, I can't see you. Never change and everything stays the same. No matter what I try, can't see through the rain. The things never change and everything stays the same. No matter what I, I do want to say this though, in case you don't watch the other video. Is that really is my oldest daughter? These are conversations that we would have, even though she probably don't remember because she was so young. Uh, but nevertheless, um, I had premonitions that I would die young. I had premonitions that I would die on stage. Uh, I used to cause a lot of issues and problems and controversial things on stage. And many times it would start fights. Um, but anyways, that is my daughter. And also, I want to say this before I go on, is that chorus, I can't, uh, we're talking about I can't see through the rain. Obviously, the rain represents uh, just life. Um, I was selling a lot of drugs. I was gangbanging. My music was taken off by this time. I was nationwide, flying everywhere, doing concerts, autograph signings. So you mix um, fame and stardom with um, drug dealing and gangbanging. And this is what I'm talking about. I can't see through the rain. My life became too too foggy to see through it. So anyways, here it goes. But I try, I can't see through the rain. Things will never change and everything stays the same. No matter what I try, I can't see through the rain. Change. Never gotta live my life strapped Since as long as I remember I feel the storm coming and I doubt I'll live to see December This crazy night demands so much from my bar Throw the wonder really fool when the body was local Violence is so often that I learn to love the violence Can't wait for a funeral just for the silence And I pray as man I slowly see the tears shed All I can think is when my homie bled and what he said Do you got my back? See more on a bench to my last day Don't talk homie close your eyes just a pray And he was slain Civil war that never ends, and where a man dies on the street for his true friend, it gets deep, homie, deeper than a fire with color. I guess you'll see yourself if you live to be older. I always think the rain will stop it instead, it drops harder, and lightning getting brighter, and thunder getting louder. No matter what I try, I can't see. Through. Yeah, you can hear my frustration. I can hear my frustration. Um, like I said in the song, raised in a civil war. Um, I don't know what it's like for young, young people now, but back then it was. Um, it was on and cracking, man. It was it was really rough. Uh, people were were uh, getting shot, killed, murdered all the time. And uh, depending on where you lived, 
um, it was it was very random, you know. And even though in Tracy, it wasn't you know, it wasn't that that crazy. But the fact is that, but you got to understand that as a recording artist, I was everywhere. I was all over the place, and and in many of the cities I was at, it was very dangerous. You know, Stockton and um, uh, San Francisco, San Jose, uh, East Bay, uh, sometimes Sacramento, uh, Merced, uh, Modesto. So the you just got to understand what it what it was like, you know. And a lot of people that maybe you're young and you see things like uh, you know Blood In Blood Out or uh, movies like that but this was this was the reality of it this was real you know and it was very real to us growing up and um i'm gonna keep going guys but in, in the end of the verse i talk about that the instead of it getting quieter the thunder gets louder and the lightning gets brighter in other words the the rain the storm everything was just chaos and um i hear i hear a, a plea I hear a desperate cry from a young man that wants to get out of not necessarily the lifestyle, but just everything as a whole, you know, of, of wanting to escape. And uh, anyways, let, let's keep playing it. The rain, the things that never change, and everything stays the same. No matter what I try, I can't see through the rain. The things that never change, and everything stays the same. No matter what I try, I can't see through the rain. I can't see through the rain The things never change And everything stays the same but she gonna rap Life ain't all that feels me Cause the more we blow up The more I hear the cheese man Started at a 16 year old kid with a dream Don't act like you're down with me You're gonna leave this team Okay, right here I'm talking about gangster rap I remember now listening to this That by this time See, I had already released um, From the Body With Love Which went nationwide um, I believe this is my second nationwide solo album i had a couple um local things but uh this is my second one and by this time uh we were nationwide we were all over the place and i kept thinking that um that if if i broke into the industry because you got to remember also back then there was no chicanos in the industry hardly you had uh lighter shader brown Kid Frost, uh, Cypress Hill. Um, let me think. Well, I'm sure there's a few others. I, I don't mean to disrespect anybody else that was at, 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 at that time, but, you know, it was very few of us. And um, I kept thinking, okay, now that I've made it, now I don't have to be living in his life. And what started happening was, matter of fact, it's like the same people that were rooting for you we're, we're now wanting your downfall, you know, because the moment you have all these rappers that they're all kind of in the same level and all of a sudden dark room or, or, or my album started to rise above, then all of a sudden it's like the rumors and the chisme, chisme is like, like, like just gossip and all these things. And I'm just like, are you serious? You know, and I remember being, <laughs> listening to this, I remember being frustrated by that. And that's, that's what I'm talking about here. Again, there goes again, that feeling, that premonition, that, um, that, like I say right there, I, I feel like a, 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 what do I say? I'm bad at remembering my own lyrics, but uh, I feel like a dropped impala is going to creep as I fall, you know? And, um, and I'm basically talking about not being able to see my children grow up and be married. You know, I remember holding my kids and, and, um, and this is dark, man. I, I, when I said I was going to do these songs, uh, I didn't realize how many uh, emotions I was going to bring back, you know. And um, so many times uh, things would happen, things would jump off. 
And, uh, you know, when you, when you uh, are living for the homeboys, no matter what, you get a call two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning. You know, I, I had a, I had a house at this time. I had my own place at this time. Uh, my music was everywhere, but there was times where something would happen to a friend and there I go. And uh, I remember thinking as I left the house, is this, is this it? Am I not going to see my children grow up? Am I not going to, you know, I, I was, I considered myself a, a very loving father. You know, even though the ridiculous life that I was living, even though the, the music industry, even though um, dealing drugs, um, I have and always have been a very present and loving father. You know, and I remember that used to weigh heavy on me. Like, man, these kids that I'm holding, I'm never going to see them as adults, which is a huge blessing because my kids are in my life now. And surprisingly, I'm in their life. Then let's keep going. The real thing on the mic, born or die. I'm destined for greatness, so my kind of multiply. No matter what I try, I can't see through the rain. The things that never change, and everything stays the same. No matter what I try, I can't see through the rain. The things that never change, and everything stays the same. No matter what I try, I can't see through the rain. The things that never change, and everything stays the same. No matter what I try, I can't see through the rain. The things that never change, and everything stays the same. Everything continues no matter what. See that right there? I said, you think because I have CDs that the Vida Loca stopped. The Vida Loca is the crazy life. You know, and exactly my point. I, I was very, very frustrated within the inner turmoil when I was writing this song, guys. You know, and, and this stuff is deep, man. This stuff is real. And I, I think this is why... Um, people would gravitate toward my music is maybe it wasn't, I know I wasn't the best rapper. I know I didn't have the best wordplay. I know I didn't have the best production. Matter of fact, I produced this, this beat in case somebody's wondering, but um, I remember just pretty much like, like, like ripping my, my chest open and, and revealing my heart um, when I would write these lyrics and, um, and deliver them. Gotta pack up what they're ready for that fateful day. I think I'm gonna run toward the bullet spray. I can't stand the fact of a man watching me run, but you better not miss. You ain't the only fool with a gun. I let them pull the trigger, lose a sense of remorse. So I fake to meet his course. Come on, come on, bring it on, try me. You can meet me in the north side, Grand Line, and Holly. And Tracy, where the fuck was fighting to the death? Hiding from Rabota has a slang, a couple of pounds of mad. Right there, I said, hiding from Rabota. Um, Robota was an officer. He was actually in the, um, he was an officer in Tracy PD. And, uh, man, I, I sound so frustrated and turmoil when I hear this. I, I actually feel sorry for myself as I listen to it today, you know, and I almost wish I could go back honestly and, um, and, uh, put my arms around the person that I was, you know, as I'm listening to this. You know, it, it's it's rough. It's rough, guys. Let's keep going. If you don't know what's put a weapon, breaking it down. I'm proud of being from a flame dust in my town. The rain never rests, but I don't care anymore. I do what I do, I could stand to be poor. No matter what I try, I can't see through the rain. The things will never change, and everything stays the same. No matter what I try, I can't see through the rain. The things never change, and everything will stay the same. No matter what I try, I can't see through the rain. Wow. So as you can tell at the very end of the song, I remember as I was writing it, and uh, basically I said, it is what it is. So this is gonna be, this, this, is, this is the card I've been dealt, this is the life that I've been given, then I'm gonna live it to the fullest until it finishes. And unfortunately, that's how a lot of our young people think today, that they see no hope, they see no end to this, they think that, see, here's, here's what's dangerous, when you think um, that there is no end or, or no, no good end, then you tend to do things you wouldn't normally do had you had hope, had you had a future. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, at that time, and many young people today, you, you don't even think there's a tomorrow, so you might as well go all out today. And that's a very dangerous mindset to have, guys. 
you know, I'm 51 years old now at the time of recording this. This is uh, October 12th, 2023. And um, there's so many people that lost their lives on the streets, senseless. You know, and uh, I had somebody um, run into me uh, the other day. Uh, I was at Harbor Freight, and I guess he used to listen to my music. And he was younger than me, maybe 10 years younger. And he's like, hey, are you are you Dino? You know, and I was like, well, I used to be. And we started a conversation. And he goes, hey, I got a question. Seriously. He goes, there's people that have, that are no longer here that listen to your music, that followed your music. Do you ever think of that? And I said, of course I do. I said, every single day I do. It, it weighs heavy. The very fact that that I'm here, the very fact that I was able to serve the Lord, the very fact that I'm able to uh, be with my children to this day, of course it does. I have friends that are gone and their kids don't know their fathers. You know, I remember my friend Efren, you know, I was with him. We were going to go to Red Lobster. He decided not to. And by the time before I, I went to Red Lobster with another homeboy and by the time before I even got my meal. I got a phone call that he died. Like he was murdered. Like within 20 minutes of me being with him. 20, 30 minutes. And I saw his um, son have to grow up without him. You know, this life was real. And uh, I think this is this song uh, is a good start to these types of reviews. Um, because it gives a good insight, you know. Uh, especially to the younger people, gives a good insight about the mentality that was out there because this wasn't just my mentality. I believe this is the mentality of many, uh, many that were out there in my age and in many cities and not only in California, not even Northern California, in Los Angeles and in New Mexico, Arizona, Texas, and in other states, you know, Chicago. And um, I think uh, it would hit a nerve, these songs, with people that were really living the life. You know, and um, but I thank God that um, I'm still here today. And uh, I just want to say, if, if you feel like your life is like this, like there's no hope, there's no end, the storm, uh, the rain is too too much, you can't see through it. Um, please understand that there is more to life than the vida loca. There truly, truly is. Life doesn't have to be a dim uh, cloudy, dark world. It's a beautiful world that God created, and we just have to change our perspective. So, all right, guys, this is the first full review. Uh, Can't See Through the Rain, produced by me, and uh, I'll be doing uh, some more of these in the next few days. All right, guys. Thank you.